Like, they're going to keep going. Yeah, for some they reason. They can't win, but they're going to keep going. As long as they are dead by the time my scorpions have to walk by. There we are. Have some friends. Oh. Yes, yes, I know. They're fleeing. I don't care. Thank goodness. I, uh... Hmm. I may have misjudged something here. What would that be? The distance your elephants were into that tree line. here somewhere. Where did you put those dang Cretan archers? Hmm. I know you, Thomas. I know what you do. Ah! Alright, hello, Devin. I am back. Uh, how well can you hear Thomas? Say words, Thomas. Hello. How well can you Is hear Thomas? Thomas saying words? He said hello. I, I didn't hear anything. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm going to continue my commentary, however. It would appear that your cav have gotten slaughtered, uh, ambushed by a two Bactrin, four, or three Chevron... I was going to say camels. Horse units, uh... So... I'm, uh, trying to pursue Thomas's troops into the woods. But, uh, they're kind of being a pain. So, uh, yeah, that's that's what's happening there. I see you've I'm got your very light missile infantry trying to uh, pelt him to death. I'm going to back up. Backing up seems like a good idea right now. I also found out that the cinematic camera actually gives whatever unit it's focused on a small combat bonus. Really? Yeah. It's cinema it's cinematic mode. I don't know if like spectator mode gives it to you, but if you do it while you're playing, it'll give it uh, a small oh. combat bonus. Um, by the way, Killian, hit K. What the heck? Yeah, that's the uh, free range camera where it just takes away the HUD so you can get really nice shots. I thought you might appreciate that. Balance of power is currently in my favor. The balance of power is currently in his favor, Thomas. Let's see, are there any confrontations going on right now? No, there are not. It seems to have come to a bit of a standstill until someone can decide to assault the other. Yeah, which might be a while. At this point in time, most quick. of it is actually just positioning. Which, by the way... Uh, Devin, would you like to increase the speed? Increase speed? Yeah, so that you guys can position uh, your units. I don't know, because I'm already a little laggy, and I'm afraid that's going to just ruin everything. 
And never mind. Hey, Devin. Yeah. What? Yeah, I turned it off. Yeah, Thomas certainly appreciates it. He yeah, certainly formation attack yeah. is a pain. And of course, your veteran legionnaires are always a cla are always a town favorite. However, he's yeah. whoever the guys that kind of just marched through the battle unscathed last time. Yeah, they were quite the monster. However, on the scale of one to uh, Flint Tinder Twig, how excited are you for two weeks from now session? I am quite excited. Because we're going to run a dungeon, and Thomas is going to get his dungeon. shit wrecked. I, oh, that's fun. The reason is because I put in traps that would specifically counteract um, Lazak. Oh no, you'll be able to see. Actually, everyone will be able to see it coming. The perception checks are actually quite easy to pass. DC 25, DC 20. The third round of it is complete. You just completely notice it. You just no check needed. But then that's where the wisdom saves come in. Fun. Wisdom saves. Never a problem, of course. Not w you, Perhaps the first or second time, when you're doing like four of them for one trap, then it'll be fun. Yeah. But also, Devin, it doesn't target you, because I know you'll save. No, it targets whoever I uh, randomly pick. And... Hey, Thomas. Yeah. Say, uh... Say hi to the rest of my cavalry. I, I have seen them, and I decided that saying hi is not really in the cards today. And certainly a stunning attempted ambush by Devon's cavalry upon, upon Thomas's. I'm going to now view inside the cinematic camera, and we will watch this charge. No, I don't want that. Charges. Plural. Of course. And they haven't made contact yet, however they are gaining ground in the cavalry. While well, Devon and Thomas's melee and range units continue to play footsie at the tip of the forest. However, there are, there is going to be appears to be some interesting developments occurring. Will Devon win this battle, or will Thomas uh, win with an uppercut? I don't know. We aren't. We are not fist fighting. No, we are not. Oh no, there are some of the horses. Come 
on. Kill them. However, now you're starting to see the development that's occurring coming from the forest. Oh yeah, no, I knew those were there. I saw them last time. Will Thomas gain the upper hand, or will Devon's horses continue to rout the enemy? And perhaps he will. Perhaps will will Devon escape before uh, Thomas's uh, what appear to be spearmen take yes. the upper hand? The answer to your question is yes. For the fans, not for you. If the game doesn't want to just lag out and kill my calf with massive delay in input. My calf should get away, yes. Alright, there we go. And it appears that one of the scorpions have been downed. And now you can all see the uh, the layout of the land with this um with this ability. You can see what all the scorpions are aiming at. Oh, and you can see the paths of some of the uh some of the units. Oh, and someone has what? apparently Why rallied. Did my calf so slow? There we go. Charge in, you fellas. Over you see Thomas. You see Thomas. Uh, his troops starting to get cornered on all sides with this cav unit, as Devon's new one charges right in. However, might may become flanked by the spearmen who are now charging inwards, and they quickly try to retreat as the spearmen grow ever closer. There's a lot of clicks happening right now. <laughs> the sound of the clicking is growing more furious. More frantic as Devon tries to rout his troops. Oh, they're now being routed by the spearmen. You can see the spearmen almost reach them. That's almost from Braveheart. Where's Mel Gibson when you need him? Oh, and then the spearmen. And the spearmen. Some of the spearmen have reached the cavalry. They're taking a few out, but doesn't look like they're gonna do much damage. One of them was just knocked over. One of them was just of killed. The yeah, one of the spearmen were just killed. They ran in the middle of the cab units and they got trampled. Get, get over here. I'm trying desperately to drag them away. And right and right from behind the retreating cab units, there's also another two, three legion of spearmen. Now also approaching. Now from an aerial view of the battlefield. As you can see here, three of Thomas's units are starting to advance on the cavalry, and soon enough they're going to hit the border of the world, which is outlined in red right up here. Just just as in Newtonian times, the earth is flat apparently here. It falls off right at this red line. <laughs> Just as Christopher Columbus once believed that the world was flat, because that is scientifically accurate, so too does this imaginary game world end as the border hits, and the tree line immediately stops. The three legion of spearmen continue to advance. One of one of Devon's cav units uh, begins routing as their morale is slowly but surely being shaken. And Thomas's cavalry are continuing to fight the, the deadly battle. However, one of Devon's cav units just uh, gained an upgrade, and so hopefully they're able to fight off the cav units. It's Thomas's 45 units to Devon's 12. Looks like this uh, this unit may la not last very much longer. I'm just trying to pull them up the hill. And then it, let's Thomas, see. just let me pull them up the hill. I don't think Thomas is going to allow you to do that. However, it seems that there's also movement on the other side of the battlefield. Shh. What do you mean, shh? He's not supposed to notice that. 